A huge thanks to Brian for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, my name is Fresh Tyler. Try the problem for yourself and when you're done, keep watching the video for the solution. Last time I did something like that, it turned into an absolute shit fest. But today we are going to take it very seriously. We are going to find out the uh, natural number solutions to this problem, if there are any. Context. Okay, and now you can see my beautiful drawing that I got here. <laughs> Context. So a few days ago there was World Emoji Day or something and to celebrate that I never use any emoji at all because they are the most disgusting thing that ever came into existence yeah. here on this planet, we are going to solve this little emoji puzzle. But I don't want to solve it using the Gauss algorithm or something or by pure guessing numbers. What I want to do is I would like to solve it today um, by just, yeah, doing a bit of mathematics, not Gauss algorithm or something, just um, doing a bit of different stuff. And I already have a few things in mind if you're not familiar with the improvised sessions. I'm just going to try out something and, and hopefully it works out. And yeah, you can watch me do this <laughs> and we're going to see how it turns out. And when I first saw this, I obviously wanted to do matrix shit or something, solving a system of equation. But, but I don't think that this is necessary right here because we have very small numbers right here, meaning we can probably find some kind of upper or lower bounds for the animals that we got right here. I, I, I especially love the rooster that we got. It's, 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 it's just chicken wing or something. Um, yeah, um, what I thought would be a good approach is um, to take a look at the parity of our elements that we got right here, of our variables. Thing is, um, we are always adding three things together. And if we take a look at the parity, then that means that one of the things in these lines must always be odd, okay, or, or even, and the other two must be odd or, or even just the other way around. And maybe we can come to a contradiction or something, we can just try it out. So. Um, what about setting the rooster, for example, as being an even number at first? Let's say the rooster is an even number at first. So let's say the, the rooster is the variable r, okay? And it's going to be an even number, okay? It's an even number. Now, if we add even and even together, this is obviously even. 2 plus 2 is going to give us 4. Then that also means we have an even number left because we want to get to 10 here. Meaning our octopus, O, must be odd. Yeah, octopus must be odd. Okay, if the octopus is odd, then odd plus odd, 3 plus 3, is going to give us an even number. If we want to get to 11, then that also means that our tiger, is it a tiger I can remember, must be an odd number once again. 6 plus 5 is going to give us 11, meaning the tiger must be equal to an odd number. Now, once again, we got odd plus odd is going to give us even, hence the fish, or no, I, I think it was a dolphin, hence the dolphin must be even once again, because this is going to give us even, and to get to an even number, we need an even number. Dolphin must be even. And last but not least, even plus even is going to give us even, and we need an odd number to get to an odd number, but we already got the rooster, which we said was even. Hey, that's a contradiction. This is, ah, this is pretty good. Didn't think that this would work. Meaning, by contradiction, and we are looking for natural number solutions, if there are any, I, I hope there are some. I think there, there are, or there's a set of uh, natural number solutions. This doesn't work out. Meaning the rooster, consequently, that's basically proved by contradiction, must be equal to some kind of odd number. If this is odd, then odd plus odd is even, meaning the octopus must be even. Meaning the octopus is even. Okay, then we get even plus even is even. We need an odd number for the tiger. And then odd plus odd is even. We need an even number for the fish or the dolphin. And last but not least, even plus even is even. So we need an odd number for the rooster. 
Okay, this works out. This actually works out. That was a cool proof by contradiction. This is cool. Never approached a system of equations like this. If I knew it has natural number solutions. Now, since we know that the rooster must be odd and the octopus must be even, etc., we can start bounding everything. I mean, all three of those must add up to 10 overall, meaning we can find some nice bounds. I mean, if the rooster were equal to 5, then 5 plus 5 is already 10, meaning our octopus must be equal to 0. But it can't be 5 because it's an even number. But it also can, no, it's an odd number. So it could be equal to 5, but yeah, I mean, it could be equal to 5. This is something that would work, but also it could be lower than, than that. 5 is the upper bound, meaning the rooster can be equal to 5, 3 or 1. This is something that could work. Now, what about the octopus? <coughs> octopus can be equal to I mean, the octopus can be equal to, um, consequently, if this were 5, then it could be equal to 0. Then the octopus can also be equal to, if this is 3, then we got 4 left. Okay, and if this is 1, then 2, 8. 0, 4, 8. Okay, octopus can be 0, 4 or 8. Now let us continue with the tiger. Tiger can be equal, it's an odd number. It's an odd number, meaning since we have 12 right here, it can be seven, it can also not be six, so it can be five, three or one, just like our rooster. And last but not least, we got the fish or the dolphin. The dolphin, by this equation right here, we are going to get that the dolphin, if this right here is 5, then it can be 2. It can be 0. This is not something that works. Otherwise, we would overtake everything. Um, yeah, wouldn't work out because the tiger can't be this big. Then if the tiger is 3, then we get 6. And if it's 1, we are going to get 10 for our dolphin. And let us check if the bounds hold for the last equation. Now, ah, dolphin cannot be equal to 10 because of this e equation. 10 plus 10 is already bigger than 15. We don't even need to guess. We can already see that this is not the case. Then the dolphin, if it were 2, then 2 plus 2 is 4, but the rooster can't be 11. This also doesn't work out. Oh. Dolphin must be equal to 6, it seems. If the dolphin is equal to 6, then 6 plus 6 is 12, means the rooster must be equal to 3. If the rooster is equal to 3, let us check, um, then 6 plus 4, the octopus must be 4, is going to give us 10. And the tiger, 4, this is 8, must be equal to 3. Hey, this is our set of solutions for natural number solutions. I knew that there were natural number solutions, but I didn't know which ones. Be because this was what it was all about on Twitter. And this works out. This right here is our system of equations solved using parity and just bounding our solutions on natural numbers. That was pretty cool. That was something new I never did before. Um, yeah, pretty good. And this already concludes today's video. I leave it as an exercise to the viewer down there in the comments to figure out what the general set of solutions here is. Solutions do exist. You see that they do actually exist. And now you can find out all the other infinitely many solutions that we maybe got or maybe this is the only solution that we got. I don't know. Try it out for yourself and post your solution down there in the comments. Maybe you can find it out using Gauss algorithm or just solving the system of equations by hand, etc. Whatever it is you do, I hope you have fun doing it. And if you also enjoy mathematics that we did here, systems of equations, no matter what they look like, animals, x, y, c's, etc., then I invite you to try out today's sponsor print. We're kind enough to sponsor yet another video here on this channel. Now what I really enjoy about Brilliant is the fact that you can learn new topics kind of fast over on their website. And fast doesn't mean that you are just going to get a rough understanding of the topic. No, they are going to go 
in depth with their courses too, building bridges over to other topics in STEM from mathematics to physics over to computer sciences, chemistry etc. And they do a pretty good job at that. With the nearly 70 interactive courses in all topics STEM, they are a monolith out there on the internet when it comes to education online. And I for myself really respect what they do and I really enjoy their product. It's one of the best online learning experiences that I ever encountered for myself. And I never saw such lovely details on animations on any other website before. Nor did I ever see such well thought out explanations which have been created by experts as well as exercises which give you a great understanding of the topics that you are learning right now. And if you want to try out Prayin for yourself, if you want to take a look at their amazing animations or just visuals that you can grab with your mouse, drag them around, try out a bunch of things, experience graphs in three dimensions etc. Then definitely make sure to check out the link at the top of the description preint.org slash flamblemaths. With it you are going to get free access to a big portion of preint already but more importantly the first 200 people to actually make use of the link get 20% off an annual premium subscription which is a freaking hot deal if you ask me because they are adding new content each and every month brushing up on all the courses making them even better than they were before on a regular basis. So it's definitely Definitely a good deal and you should try it out to support the channel this way. I thank guys for watching. If you want to support the channel a bit more you can also check out stemrich.eu, my new store for all things handcrafted stem. And other than that, please stay safe, support the channel on Patreon and have a flammable day. Ciao!